it was brought to my attention that there were ports of the Immortal for consoles other than the NES. So, I picked up the Immortal for the Sega Genesis, and I'm going to do a blind buy video of this and compare it to the NES version. Already the title screen is... it's awesome. You know, clearly it's it looks better. Uh, the sprites are bigger, it's all more detailed. There's a black sp uh, spot on the floor that would clearly kill me. And I can't shoot fireballs. Hmm. It's not like they did anything anyway. This room is completely different. It doesn't have any of the, the fire pits or the traps. Combat is a uh, we whoa. Huh. Okay, uh combat is uh feels a little different from the NES one. Uh but it has finishers now, which is pretty cool. Rob the corpse, take his wedding ring. Oh. There's fireballs, but it looks like they have ammo now. Uh, I'd assume they do something in this version since they have uh, limited capacity, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. I can miss and get back into combat. Yeah, mashing on the attack button like I did in the NES version really doesn't pay off here. Uh, it seems like every button can dodge as well as attack, so it's it's actually quite different. Um, it's more challenging. They moved around things like the uh, the chess and the the dead guy in the other part of the room. I need to look at the PC version and see uh, which one of these is closer, the NES version or this. Okay, in the NES one there was a guy to the right. I can't, I don't see him. Okay, I guess he's just off screen. I'm going to get him with the fireball. No, I'm not. I wasted all my fireballs, and he killed me. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, there's there's zero traps. There were like there were like 20 different uh 20 different items in that room that would attack you in the NES one. I'm an old man. Quit hitting me in the gut with your mace. On the one hand, the finishers make you feel less like a random old man that wandered into a place he shouldn't go. But the combat here, I just... I haven't gotten the hang of it yet. It was really basic on the NES, but it's not here. Okay, this this room's pretty pretty much the same as the NES one. It had all the moving things on the floor. And yep, there's the darts. It's still dangerous. This room had the hidden pit traps. So there was one uh down low and one to the right. I found a map that said that it had the it unveiled the hidden pit traps so this room resembles part of the map okay and that's it really okay I have a map that shows me where hidden pit traps are kind of
Okay, there are hidden pits here. So I'm just going to follow the wall and hopefully that'll work out. Spell. Amulet. Oh! <laughs> can't even see that trap. It's, uh, you can't even see the floor that it's on. Alright. Okay, well, the wall almost got me there. So, just don't follow it all the way. And that should work. And it didn't work. Uh, another trap right in front of the other one. All right. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's got some differences from the NES one. It's still pretty much the same game. It's less challenging in that there are less traps. Like in that first room, some of those traps would instantly kill you in the NES one. There are no traps in this one. Combat is more challenging. I actually died in combat here. And it still has the hidden pit traps. So the game is still going to work around memory a lot to win. It's still pretty good. This has been The Immortal for the Sega Genesis, and thanks for watching. Fantastic. The fireballs actually do work.